We're down 1.7% here, a loss of 37 points or so. Apple shares are just getting hammered this morning. We're down by between 3 and 4.5% 4 and generally across these markets. Let's talk about the speed with which we are watching this market deteriorate. We're red everywhere, essentially, down by 4 5%. We're down over 16%. Dow at the same time has fallen about 18%. The stock market is now down 21%. Because we're now down 43%. What in the world is happening on Wall Street? All right, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sensible Investing. Uh, my name is Jesse. And as you guys all know, the trade war is now back in full swing with Trump increasing tariffs to 25% and uh, Beijing retaliating in kind. So uh, as you guys know, this has triggered a bit of a market sell-off, a bit of a market panic. Uh, everybody thinks that we're going to have some kind of recession, the economy is going to fall apart, uh, you know, the stocks are going to crash and uh, the sky is going to fall. So but before, you know, we start to panic, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to spend today talking about stock market crashes and some uh, investment strategies for you guys to uh, consider in the event that you find yourselves in the middle of a stock market crash and, and what to do. So as you guys know, the trade war is back in full swing and good old President Donald Duck has been uh, quacking like a madman on Twitter, sending about 10 tweets in the space of, you know, two hours. And, uh, you know, it's quite, quite entertaining stuff. But OK, so t today I've prepared a bunch of topics for us to go through. So first of all, we're going to be talking about uh, what is actually a stock market crash and how to know if you're in the middle of a crash. Um, and why I believe that a, a crash is actually a blessing, not a curse, and provides us uh, a really good opportunity to find some great businesses for bargain basement prices, uh, as long as we stay calm and uh, not panic. And we're going to be talking about the universal law of mean reversion and why that helps us to uh, not panic in the middle of a crash and find some really good undervalued opportunities. And so, as, uh, as I was talking about before, if we invest in really good companies, then we have nothing to worry about. And uh, topic number five, we're going to be talking about what we're going to be talking about what you should do in a crash, um, and some ideas on how to invest and the concept of averaging down. And then I'm going to conclude with 10 companies that I'm watching in the event that there's going to be some mispricing there's going to be a market crash and an opportunity uh, for me to pick some of these companies up on the cheap. Okay, so what is a stock market crash? Um, to put it simply, you've got two types of crashes. You have a uh, correction, which is when the market pulls back 10% or, or around about that, 10% from its uh, most recent highs. And then you have what is known as a bear market, which is when the market uh, falls 20% or more and remains in this territory for an extended period of time. Now, an extended period of time could be a few weeks, a few months, maybe even 17 months in the case of the Great Recession, or uh, even a few years. And, and really, that just depends on how bad the crash is and uh, how negative the sentiment is. Okay, so why is a crash a blessing and not a curse and what mean reversion has to do with it so uh, what is mean reversion basically uh, to put it as simply as i can mean reversion states that anything in the universe will eventually go back to what they should be or should have been um, or, or in the uh, i guess in the case of stocks uh, a, sh a stock or a company or the share price of a company will always go back to its intrinsic value. So um, it could trade above for what it's worth and it could trade below for what, what it's worth. But over time, it's always going to go back to what it's worth and what it should be worth. So what that means is if a stock is overpriced, it'll go back to fair value and it'll come back down to earth. Uh, if a stock has fallen through the floor and sentiment is beyond negative, it will eventually go back up to, again, what it's worth. So that's the concept of mean reversion or reversion to the mean. Now, the good thing about the market is that Mr. Market either overcooks the goose 
or on the cooks to goose. So the lamb's raw and the pork's fucked. And Mr. Market never really had an ability to uh, get the thing just right. So the, the beauty of that and uh, good, the good thing for us is that if Mr. Market uh, overcooks the goose and things are too expensive, it gives us an opportunity to initiate a short position. And if Mr. Market undercooks the goose, and we clearly know that the company is worth a lot more than what Mr. Market is pricing it at today, then it gives us an opportunity to initiate a long position and profit over that, uh, profit from that over time due to the company or the share price mean reverting back to what it should be worth. And that is the concept of mean reversion. So I'm just going to give you a few examples of mean reversion. So as you can see, um, if you look at these two uh, companies during the crash, uh, you know, it was very negative and nobody could really see the light at the end of the tunnel. But as you can see, if we look at it in the greater perspective and the greater scheme of things, uh, things eventually mean reverted back to where they should have been worth, to what they should have been worth and where they should be um, after, you know, obviously some correction and adjustment. And the best example I can give you of mean reversion is the example of Berkshire Hathaway. So Warren Buffett himself, he said that during his lifetime, uh, he, he saw his company decrease in value uh, by, by more than, you know, more than 30, 40, 50% four times. But as you can see, over time, each and every time, because of mean reversion, because it is a quality company, it's a good business, it always went back up to what it should have been worth. And uh, as you can see, it went on to make new highs. Same with Google, right? So again, during the depths of the crash, when everybody was depressed and anxious and panicked and negative, nobody could see the light. But again, if it is a good quality business, it will always go back up to what it should be worth. Same with Apple. And so each and every time there was a crash, as long as we know that it's a quality business, it really gives us an opportunity to uh, get in at the cheap and make some good money uh, when, when the company mean reverts. All right, so now that we know why a crash is a blessing, not a curse, and we also know the concept of mean reversion, we're going to be talking about averaging down. So what is averaging down? Basically, averaging down is if you are going to buy a stock, and you have a certain amount of money, it's always better to purchase the stock in multiple tranches or multiple batches rather than purchase all of it at once. And the reason for that is simple. It allows us to have a lower uh, cost basis of purchase and it also allows us to uh, manage our risk. So if we happen to purchase it at the wrong time where Perhaps the company was worth more than what we thought it was, and it mean reverts back down to, you know, closer to what fair value is. It gives us an opportunity to buy more lower, uh, so that our cost basis is lower, and when it eventually does go back up, uh, we then make more money. It also gives us an opportunity to purchase a company where perhaps the market sentiment is too negative, and it goes far below uh, what it should be worth. Then again, that's even better for us. So again, I can't stress this, stress this enough, uh, quality, 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 right? So low quality businesses mean revert very slowly. Now, some might not even mean revert at all. So what I've given you over here are a couple of examples of businesses that uh, either might mean revert after a very, very long time, or in the case of Enron, uh, never mean reverted. And as you can see, some more examples of companies that were overpriced and due to the law of mean reversion, brought them back down to earth. And here's an example of a company that did mean revert. But if you look at 2007 to 2018, now it's in 2019, uh, and it went straight back down as soon as it mean reverted, or in this case, 1999 to 2019, and the company still never mean reverted. Um, you'll know why it's very important to invest in quality companies. And it also reinforces the importance of uh, averaging down. So if you happen to buy too high, 
Um, but because you only put a small portion of your money, it'll allow you to buy lower and build a bigger position at a lower price. Okay, so now we know what, uh, what a market crash is, and we know why buying quality businesses is, is important, and why we shouldn't panic in a crash, but should be excited. And we talked about mean reversion and averaging down. Um, I'm now going to show you guys 10 stocks that I'm watching and waiting for when Mr. Market uh, goes crazy and misprices it and gives me a very good opportunity to pick up some good companies on the cheap. Um, then, then I'm going to go ahead and do so. So Apple, Google, Facebook, uh, Tencent, which is kind of like the Chinese version of Activision Blizzard plus EA plus WhatsApp plus it, it's yeah it's basically the Chinese version of all of those things and uh, and whatnot Auckland Airport uh, Berkshire Hathaway uh, this little I symbol here which is the Chinese version of Twitter Instagram Vines uh, and 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 uh, pretty much all, all of those combined uh, Disney Visa and the A2 Milk Company. So guys, that concludes episode one. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Click, click the subscribe button because it's good karma and uh, feel free to leave a comment. And in um, part two, what we'll do is we're going to look at these 10 businesses, these 10 quality businesses in greater detail. And I'm going to cover exactly why I think they'll be fine in a crash, why they are quality businesses, and uh, why I believe if they do crash, they will mean revert, uh, meaning the opportunity to make uh, a nice game. So see you guys in the next video. And uh, until then, happy investing.